Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at the Mission Rotor Pro Dartboard Stand or Travel Stand. It, it seems to have two names, one on the, the Mission site and one on the Darts Corner site, but same difference basically. Um, so, Darts Corner recently had a special offer for these and I think it was on their Monday Madness special deals thing and it was £49.95 but the back up to the normal price now which is £69.95 um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the things out of the box and I'll just show you what you've got inside it then I'll put it together and I'll show you how, how you adjust it and everything and then I'll throw some darts at it but the reasons why you might want a, a dartboard stand can be varied maybe <clears throat> for whatever reason you can't have a dartboard on the wall maybe the walls are too thin or whatever or maybe another reason is the person that's in the next room doesn't like the sound of the darts hitting the wall you know the board or maybe your neighbors complain about the noise so in that respect the stand might be a better option and also because it's portable you can take it anywhere with you use it in quick setup displays comps and things like that so there could be various reasons but they are quite handy things to have so like i say we'll we'll take it out the box now and i'll just show you what's in it right i've altered my camera focus but i'm not sure i've got everything in view here so it doesn't really matter i'm just opening it up and showing you what's in it quickly i say quickly but it takes ages to get through all this <laughs> tape there's that much tape on it so you got some floaty airbags Wait a minute. Just hold that there for a minute. I've always wanted biceps. <laughs> so what have we got here? We've got some brackets which look like the brackets that I remember seeing on the site which go on the back of the board yeah so that looks like the bracket that goes on the stand itself and then holds the dartboard in place something like that so pretty self-explanatory i think Ooh. well that's that gone that'll be the instructions and i think that's basically everything that's in it let's have a look yeah the instructions looks pretty straightforward and it comes with a, a carry bag as well so that's handy so it looks like there's only them parts to put together then right. all right like pretty much it really there's the stand and there's the adjustable part that raises you up and down and obviously that part to fi fix onto the board so I'll get it all set up now right I've got it set up now uh, so let's give you a quick look at it obviously as you can see it's got three legs so you've got tripods and um, this is to tighten up the legs now the way the legs are now i suppose this one is bracing it for the back but you could push that pole a bit further up if you want and then that would make it uh, these 
these arms come up that way but I think it's probably better to leave it that way and then you just tighten that so this is the the main pole connected to the legs in my crunchy knees now the pole that's coming up from there is the one where the the bracket is affixed to but if you look at the side you've got little holes um, so it, I've just done it roughly at the moment I haven't uh, measured the right height so that just helps you to give it a little, little bit more support and also while you are finding the measurement and this one is just to tighten up this pole the one that holds the dartboard bracket so the bracket itself I, like I showed you it came in two parts and they've got like little angle parts which rest against the, the board it's easy to put together all it is is just two screws that are already supplied then it goes on the top of that pole and then you just tighten it up with that now the part where you might find a little bit fiddly if you look there you can see through that little hole to the screw into the dartboard now where the dartboard is it's got the little kind of teardrop keyhole kind of a shape so if you loosen the screw the dartboard will like drop down into that section now I'm not sure if, if that's how it's meant to be but it's easy enough all, all you do is just hold it with your hand and and you put your screwdriver through there to tighten it up but I'm not sure if it, it could have been done a little bit better that part because some people might find it a little bit fiddly but I managed it so it's easy enough I think for, for most and basically that is it all put together so I'll throw some darts at it now right just in case anyone's wondering you can still put a surround on um, obviously it depends how, how close a fit it is to your board but it should stay put um, if you notice I'm in front of where my dartboard is on the wall and I haven't got enough length in this room so I'm actually throwing from a, maybe a foot or so closer because I'm still throwing from the same hockey so that distance there is what I am closer so I'll throw a few darts and see what it's like I don't expect it to be wobble free that's uh, going quite high because I'm throwing closer <laughs> but one thing I noticed straight away is it definitely sounds a bit quieter so like I said if you need a stand just for the sake of being uh, a quieter setup then it should work fine for that now you do see some wobble but uh, it definitely doesn't put you off it doesn't put me off anyway and like I said I am thrown from a shorter hockey so my darts are probably hitting it a little bit firmer than before I'll try and go back a little bit to see that's about as far as I can get I've gone maybe about eight inches back so and I'm throwing 23 gram darts so it's never going to be as stable as it is on a, a wall I mean I didn't expect that to be the case anyway but it's certainly not off-putting I'm not noticing enough to put me off I guess it depends on the individual like but I know quite a few people that use stands and they get on with them fine Obviously if you're a really hard thrower or you're throwing very heavy darts then definitely you'll see more wobble but I think it seems pretty sturdy overall it seems to be solidly made so I'll just do a wrap up now so there you go that's the Mission Rotor Pro dartboard stand now like I said it, it, it seems solid enough um, there's certainly no problems thrown at the board like you're always going to get a bit of wobble my uh, only reservations are that if you're setting it up yourself it's a bit fiddly trying to adjust it to get the right height uh, if they could have improved on a way to make that easier then that would be great but I think all the dart stands are like that uh, certainly the ones I've tried before have been like that 
and the only other problem is when you put the dartboard on you've got that little kind of keyhole shape and you've got to put the screw from the dartboard through that hole and you've got to unloosen it on your dartboard first or it doesn't reach through so again you've got to kind of hold it there while you retighten it so for one person doing it it's just a little bit fiddly but it wasn't impossible and if you want to rotate the dartboard you have to unloosen that screw in the back of the board and then do that same process again it's not really a huge problem well, other than that I think it seems to be pretty good it seems solid enough and it seems sturdy as you can possibly get for a, a stand so probably worth the money if you're into getting one and I think like I said the advantage for some people may be the fact that it's a bit quieter when your darts hit it so if for whatever reason you can't put one on the wall whether it's disturbing somebody it's certainly good for that so there you go that's the end of the video hope you've enjoyed watching it i'll see you in the next one happy darting